Hey everybody, Burt from Stars Gaming here, back with another episode of our Total War Attila Age of Vikings Let's Play. So, last episode we ended the video with a very, very close defeat against the Danelaw. And you can see their army right here and my army right here. Um, we actually were winning this battle right up until our general died and then uh, all our men broke and fled. Which was a real shame because we had you know we had them where we wanted them basically and so now that we're in this position um i'm not sure what i want to do here if i could i would love to just hire some mercenaries and go right back at them but i i can't move anymore our turn's over so they're gonna get at least one turn they'll probably flee and i don't really think i'm gonna be able to chase them um, we could maybe go after these guys who are raiding and causing all kinds of public order issues up here, but I can't let them just kind of roam around at large in my kingdom. So I don't I don't know what to do here, other than God, you are so worthless. I don't even know what to do with you. She's inspiring the populace at least, so at least she can do that. And I can't really do anything other than maybe recruit some guys so it's gonna cost me 400 each I'll take two all right let's end our turn oh dangerously low integrity huh well I can't really do anything about that can I Okay, so the Danelaw actually decided to attack me. I probably should have hired some mercenaries to help me in this battle. But I actually think we have a fairly good chance of winning this. Our integrity might be kind of low, but we have a huge rage advantage against these guys. And it sort of helped us out last time. Um, obviously, like I said before, the general dying was really what cost us that battle, not anything that we did tactically. So let's go ahead and fight this out and... I wish we had the cavalry that we just recruited, because that would really turn things in our favor, but they probably wouldn't have attacked us had that been the case. So let's dive in. Alright, so we actually have a pretty ideal terrain set up here for us. They have to attack us up this hill. So we're going to deploy right along the front here and then move up to sort of the edge of it, right about there, where obviously we're going to set up our catapults or onagers or whatever you prefer and our archers and then we'll do some kind of spear wall I think we'll do like a line of three with these guys on either flank and then we'll use the royal companions as sort of like shock troops hopefully we can get some flanks in with them I don't want to send them right into the middle again and get our general killed as we did before so we'll have to be a little bit more careful this time but I think we can make it work let's see right about there I think what a mess. Okay. Let's get you out of the way. You out of the way. Let's grab the archers. You guys can stand back a bit. Um, I need you guys with like a slight little angle there just so they do not get caught unaware. Something like that. Oh, and of course it undid my alignment. Perfect. Well then, um, you know what? It really does not matter. We're going to be moving anyways. So, let's just get everybody kind of over there. We'll start and then we'll figure this out. So give me you guys. And you're going to get into a loose formation and deploy all the way across this hill. And then you three are going to deploy right along behind them and we'll put you on actually I'm gonna go with this side because that's a little bit wider flank and then you guys can go here the general will fall in line behind them fairly wide like that and you guys can just sort of set up right along here. In fact, I don't even 
think they need to move that far. I'll probably put them like right here. The sooner they set up, the better, because these guys are pretty much already in range. So let's start playing here. And I want you to use explosive damage, huh? Let's try that. And you guys can just use regular old arrows, I suppose. Get them into shield wall formation. And here they go. Let's see what this can do to them. Oh, that was a direct hit right there. That was a pretty damn good hit. Keep slinging. The problem is these guys just don't get enough shots off. The enemy always closes before these guys are able to expend all their ammo. Alright. Yeah, they got into a loose formation. It's... I mean, it's going to help, but we're still going to land some pretty good hits on them. We'll I sure wish I had that cavalry. You know what? I'm going to move you guys over here. We're going to, like I said, we're going to use these guys as cavalry, basically. I just got to be very cautious about how I do it. Um, why don't you focus on, like, that? there. Let's see, they're starting to get into range. So, okay, their skirmishers will be in range in just a second, or will be in their skirmishers range in just a second. So let's fall back to here. And you guys need to get into formation. Do me a favor and take them out. They're the biggest threat right now. They're the strongest units they have. Let's get you over here. And that's not good. That's not good. We don't want them fighting there. Okay, time to move. Hang on. What are you firing at? I need both of these guys to start putting some rounds into them. And then if you could start taking them out, that would be great. Now, I think this army is going to move. They didn't engage this flank, so we'll push everything down a bit. Like so. Actually, no, we'll just move everybody. That should work just fine. And then you guys are going to go... Oops. Is this still on? No, there we go. Go after them. Keep them honest. see how they feel about that. Um, you know what? Go after them. You can attack from the rear. Looks like our general managed to run them down. I wanted him to flank these guys, but that works too. If we can deal with their skirmishers, it's probably for the best. And... Yeah, unfortunately, they're going to get caught out here. That's really fine, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not move. Stay right where you are. Let's see. Yeah, keep firing at them. I don't care if we get a little bit of friendly fire in there. Okay, they're down. I need to get some help in here. Get there before they break. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Hopefully that's enough to help turn the tide over there. 
Let's see, you guys start shooting at them. You guys start shooting at them. Ooh, that was a good hit. That was a very good hit. If our general dies again, we're going to be in trouble, so we got to watch out for that. Oh, they regrouped. Let's get them back in there. They're going to break. Come on. Hit them. Let's start focusing on the general. And we'll focus fire here. You start shooting at them. And it's going to come down to these battles right here. Come on, I need you guys putting arrows into these guys. Start shooting flaming arrows. That'd do a little bit more morale, morale damage. Uh, it's starting to go in my favor. We'll see if it stays that way. If my general dies, it's not going to stay that way, though. And he is pretty well surrounded. These guys are starting to break. That's good. I don't know how these guys held out, but they did. Oh, he's starting to break. That's not good. If he breaks, this might be over. Oh, he fell. I think that's it. Yeah, that plummeted. Um, hold on here. Yeah, they're all going to break, so it's not going to matter. But I was going to say, we can probably start skirmishing here and stay alive a little bit longer. Get you off the field. But yeah, chances are, that's it. Yeah, look at that. Wow. <sighs> we basically had them beaten and our general died again. So let's take a look at the numbers. They deployed about 650 and lost about 450. Well, exactly 450. We deployed a little under 800 and lost about 350. So we definitely got the better of them there. Again, for the second time, we basically beat them and then our general died. You can see that um, our archers are pretty much still intact. I mean, these guys lost a little bit. The onagers didn't take any losses. Um, at least not that I can tell. Obviously, our melee troops are pretty much all gone. But look at, the, look at their troops. I mean, like, 48 is their highest. Some of these only have single digits. So, like, we definitely beat them there. Again, the general just died and our troops crumbled. So, what I'm thinking of doing is, as soon as we can get a new general in here, we'll just hire some mercenaries. We'll come right back at them and crush this army. Alright, so we've got to choose a new general. Um, I think Athelstan is probably the best choice because he has a general-type trait rather than a governor-type trait. So we'll pick him. And hopefully he lives a little bit longer than the other ones. Uh, we've got a rebellion in Wales. That's not good. Valiant defeat, yeah, we know. Poor old Edgar, I guess, died. <clears throat> St. Albans champions. Taking attrition. Civil war. Oh, great. Famine, yeah, I mean, that's nothing new. Imminent rebellion. Drought. We just can't win. Foreign trespassers from the Kingdom of Wales. Raiding from the rebels. It just, it just keeps getting better and better. So they obviously ran off. I don't know that we'll be able to... Yeah, we can't get to them. We can get to these guys, though. But they are probably too much for us at this point. Um, wow, these are... Not, not much to choose from there. Um, how are we doing here? Public order's on its way back up because of the rebellion. This is on its way down. Um, I can't upgrade this, then I won't be able to get any mercenaries. That'll give me two public order. Well, I'm going to need a lot more than that, so probably not worth it. Let's go down swinging here, and I'm going to hire these two. And then we're going to go at these guys here. And hopefully we can deal with them. 
Uh, numbers are on our side. Let's find out. Alright, so it's snowing. I suppose we'll just fight it out in the snow. I don't think it really matters. Um, they only have three units, but two of them are cav, so we do need to be careful here. It's going to be really hard to do with so few uh, melee troops. Um, we're going to spread these spread these guys pretty thin. Something like that. Um, I don't even know what to do with these guys. You're just going to chill right behind them. Got lots of archers. It's going to be really, really difficult to protect these guys. But I don't need to spread them out because of the cavalry. Um, we'll put you in the back, and you're going to try to counter them, and you guys are just going to try to take as many out as you can as they approach, and we'll do that. Um, hmm, we'll put them on this side, I guess, it doesn't really matter. To do this. Something like that. And you can go here. Get the archers out front. And the cavalry there. Okay. Let's get some of those flaming projectiles because they were pretty effective last time. It looks like they're already coming into range. So, personally, I think the the cavalry is the biggest threat, especially the heavy cavalry here. So we're going to go for them. I'm actually going to tell these guys to hold their fire because I want to shoot at them. I don't want to waste any shots on the archers. Okay, now let's speed things up a bit. Come on, come on. That red line is our our max range. Okay, interesting. Well, we'll go after them then. Let's see who that's going to hit. Uh, it came up a little bit short. Just keep slinging them. Alright, I'm gonna counter. It looks like they're leaning a little bit to my left flank. Which is the weaker flank. Come on, artillery, where you at? Here we go. Those look like good shots. Uh, three dead. It's not gonna cut it. Let's get these guys on flaming arrows. I think that'll really help with the cavalry. Let's see what kind of damage they can do. Here comes another volley. That one looks a little bit long. Uh, not particularly great effect there. Okay. Time to fall back. The enemy is attacking our general. So let's get back here. Come on, you better run. I did that a little bit late. They're gonna run right into my spears though. Which is pretty much the best place they could have. At least for me. you fire at them now. We're going to hold right here for now. I'm going to try to break their morale a bit. Let 
Come on, catch them. I'll try to envelop these guys. I don't know how well it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna counter charge them. Well, ours have been rallied, so take that. I think we got the better of them there. I don't know, to be honest. Keep shooting. And if you guys are still alive, yeah, keep firing at them. Make sure everybody's going after them. These are only regular swordsmen, so they should break a lot easier than the general units. Um, can you disengage? You did exactly what I needed you to do. Battle is turning in our favor. Go after them. You can join that as well. You just keep heaving shit at them. Here we go. A little bit wide right. I don't think that hit. Send you after them. The enemy general is fallen. Good. We're actually gonna win this. And they're done. So now it's just a matter of running them down. And they'll break any second. Where's that gonna hit? Ooh, that was a pretty good shot. You guys must be gassed. Eh, not really. I don't know why they're moving so slow. Let's see, you guys can all leave, I guess. Your job's done. Why are they breaking? You guys have no reason to break. Uh, come on. Let's see, why don't you start slinging them or something? Oh wait. Get back on there. Talk about slow cavalry, man. Whatever. Our men are wavering. There we go. Alright, so I think we could probably use the replenishment here. I mean, even 3% helps. We can't afford to lose any more integrity, so that's not even an option. For the tribe. Get moving. And let's see, it looks like we ranked up. Warriors or at least our old. general did. That's good. Um, integrity plus 2. Yeah, I could use that pretty badly, actually. And then we'll give him some authority. And you can't quite get there, so we'll just kind of hang out right here. Let's recruit some troops. I badly, actually, will get rid of the mercenaries, because they're going to cost me a fortune to keep around. I badly need some of these guys. So I'll take three for now. And we are unfortunately out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. And we will come back in the next turn, where hopefully we can kind of turn things around. They started going our way, and then they very, very quickly stopped going our way. And so hopefully this victory here will let us kind of snowball some momentum. Um, even though we lost the battles, you know, the battle twice against these guys, we did deal out some pretty significant casualties to them, to the point where these guys are, you know, for all intents and purposes, combat ineffective. So we don't need to worry about them anymore. But all of our cities are going to start rebelling, and we're going to have a lot of these guys to deal with, so... Things are only going to get worse from here, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit, and I will see you guys back here for the next part of our Total War Attila Age of Vikings Let's Play.